Hello people, it's not magic, it's science. My name is Royal and this is my assistant, Kiwi. Now, we are going to show you how an electromagnet works and see what it does. Kiwi, what you need to make an electromagnet is alligator clips, copper wire, and a bolt or a net. Now we're just going to let you see it right now. And we're also going to need a battery because the battery is going to have to translate the energy to make it into an electromagnet. An electromagnet. So how does the energy flow from the battery? Through the copper wire. And then it goes around the bolt. It goes around the bolt through the curls. Coils. Coils. Okay. And how many coils do you have on there? Fifteen. Okay. And why are they so close together? So it can make a stronger magnetic force. Okay, stronger magnetic field, which make which would make a strong. Yeah. It could be. It has a chance to be a better electromagnet. It has a better chance of being a better electromagnet. All right, hook it up to the battery. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna show you what it does. Wasn't it cool how when I lifted the alligator pin off of the battery and everything just jumped? That is because the energy didn't go through the wire. How many paper clips did you get? Five. Okay. Five. Alright, well, why don't you show them what's yeah. different electromagnet? Well, tell them what's different about this electromagnet from the first one. Alright, here's what's different between these two magnets. Use your words, not your hands, so they can see. Alright. The more the magnet with more copper wire, it has has the better chance of getting more paper clips. It right? should. Yeah, How many coils is it. on this one? Thirty. Okay. So thirty coils on this one. So we should, since there's more coils you're saying there should be a better chance of picking up paper clips. And the more coils are on the bolt, there should be a better chance of picking up the paper clips. Alright, well why don't you hook it up? I'll hook it up and, and we'll see, see what, what happens. happens. And then you're gonna want to hold it right there. Here, I'll hold the battery for you. How many, how many did you get? How many paper clips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so move them over here so we can compare them with Gary's. Gary's mm -hmm. got five, I got eight. Okay, so you didn't get twice as many, but you got more paper clips the second time around. Why did you get more paper clips the second time around with this electromagnet than you did with this one? Because it's got more. Coils whacked around it. Okay, and more coils means what, Carrie? More electric energy going to the bolt. Okay, and more elect more electromagnetic force. More electromagnetic force, which means it'll pick up more paper clips. Here, show them what this show them what this does without the battery. So in case they don't think this is some kind of trick or something this like that. This is without the battery. No battery or anything here. But when you hook it up to the battery... When you hook it up to the battery, it picks up stuff. Go ahead, do it again. Okay. One more time, just hook it up and see what it gets. Let's just see what it gets now. Yep. Okay. And there you go. Alright. Alright, well... So wait, that's it for now. It's not magic, it's science. Let's say goodbye. Bye, people.